Well, Ravens fans, I am so excited today to be joined by the new president of the Ravens, Sashi Brown. Sashi, thank you so much for giving us the time today. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for having me. How is this transition going for you? Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, it's great to be uh, here. And, you know, the surprising part is so many familiar faces, folks that I've known from uh, over a decade in, in the NFL uh, and come to admire here at the, the Ravens, but also all the new faces. Great people uh, here at the castle and, and awesome to be part of the flock. You're taking over for Dick Cass, who's been here for 18 years, uh, obviously has made quite an impression, left a legacy here and someone that you've known for a long period of time. What does it mean to you to kind of take the baton from Dick and, and build on what he's done? Yeah, I think you, you said it, just an awesome legacy is the right word. Uh, he's been steady, wise, you know, innovative, and uh, just, a, just a consummate leader. I've known Dick since I was a very young lawyer. I uh, know him in the firm and uh, grew to admire him and he's certainly been a role model uh, and mentor for me. Uh, so to be able to have the honor to take the baton from him is really uh, something and a, a responsibility that I take very seriously. Uh, and, uh, and, and so, you know, as he and I have spent time together over the, the last, really, month of uh, our overlap, uh, you know, he's, he's you know, provided a, a ton of insight in terms of the people and the processes and where we are uh, in terms of the Ravens and the community as well here in Baltimore. Uh, so uh, he's a treasure that we will miss uh, and undoubtedly some huge shoes that we'll fill collectively. Now, Sashi, it's not often, I would say, that someone moves into a new role as team president, and that's the second most exciting thing that's happened in their life in the last month. You, <laughs> you and your wife, Paige, recently welcomed your fourth child. So what is life like in the Brown household right now? Because i got to believe it's kind of hectic. Ananda, Ananda, yeah. <laughs> she, uh, she arrived February 10th. That was awesome. Uh, my wife, who is uh, a super strong woman and great, great mother and partner, um, has uh, delivered another baby naturally with, with no uh, medical aid. And um, so that was a, a phenomenal experience for us. Um, today is Zora's birthday, uh, our six-year-old. And so we had our traditional ice cream Sunday breakfast when one <laughs> of the kids has a, uh, has a birthday. Um, and that was awesome. So family, uh, just like, you know, from Steve right on down here with the Ravens uh, and the Bishotti family, family's the most important thing. Uh, so our fourth child, beautiful thing. Uh, the, the house has been fun and busy. Uh, the kids have really, uh, really embraced their youngest sister uh, and the newest member of the Ravens flock. Well, first of all, congratulations on that. And, and you mentioned family. I got to believe that that was part of the attraction. You know, when Dick and, and Steve talked with you about this opportunity that made you feel like this was the right fit for you to come here and join the Ravens? Yeah, I think so. And, and again, familiarity with with Ozzy and Eric and John as well, um, and other members of the business team uh, here. Um, but, but it really starts with ownership uh, and, and then the senior leadership right after that. Uh, and the commitment and the value system here to really care for their people. Um, and to treat this as, as much like a family as it, we do uh, treat each other like co colleagues, you know, in a professional setting. And that's what makes the Ravens special. Uh, and I, again, I think it, it stems right out onto the field uh, with our players and what John's able to do in that locker room and, and the trust that he's able to garner from the, the players. So, um, yeah, a tremendous amount, amount of respect up and down the organization. And, you know, you're in a great place in your career when you're leaving a great organization to come to a great organization and you know I have to pay homage to the folks at Monumental Sports Entertainment, uh, Ted Leonsis and his partners there, uh, another great mid-Atlantic uh, sports ownership group uh, but when I was able to sit down and, and talk with uh, Dick and, and Steve about the opportunity that was afforded to me here uh, it really was a, a no-brainer for me and an awesome opportunity for me to take. Now, when you talk to the organization for the first time here, you made the point that you want to spend time getting to know people and that you want to meet with everybody in the organization. And that's probably not something that every team president says and every CEO says, because it's obviously challenging to do so. But why was that important for you? Uh, I think just, again, caring for the people and understanding their jobs and, and each individual here, it's important. And I heard this in some of the early meetings I had, that the relationship that they had with, with Dick and the opportunities they had to speak with him one-on-one uh, -on -one was something that they really treasured and valued and made them uh, really understand their commitment and, and, and double down on the work that they do here. Uh, and so I wanted to make sure right off the bat that I, I continued that uh, and, and got a chance to know everybody. And uh, so that's a, an awesome opportunity for me to get a chance to know the entire organization 
and each of the individuals that comprise the great uh, Baltimore Ravens. That's great. You know, for, for you, as, as you move into this role and you're having a chance just to get to know people, what has stood out to you? Because I know you've been looking at the Ravens from the outside looking in. You've known Dick. You've known a number of people here. But what has stood out to you in, in your time since you've moved into this transition period? Yeah, I would say two things. I would say uh, the tenure of people here is tremendous. So we have a ton of institutional knowledge. Some folks that came to the Ravens or came from the Browns when they, they, they moved here to the Ravens from Cleveland. Uh, and so leaning on that understanding of the organization, of the community, uh, of the people and, and how we arrived at today uh, is, is tremendously valuable. Uh, so that continuity and staff uh, really helps. And again, that, that's both on the, the business operation and team operation sides. The second thing I would say is, uh, you know, that was surprising. I knew the Ravens were good at a lot of, a lot of things because uh, there wasn't much that you looked at across the league that the Ravens don't come across as one of the top teams. Uh, what surprised me is just how mature and rich, um, you know, each of the, the verticals are here. Really good processes and thinking and people um, and experience in each of the verticals. And I think that, that just strength um, you know, across the board in the organization is, is palpable when you come in and, uh, you know, you think you're going to have some ideas coming into a meeting and, you know, the leaders of, of each of the departments are really right at the forefront of what uh, they should be doing. So that's really warming. And I think, um, you know, as, as a leader here in the president's role to be able to support people, but I understand that people are really uh, driving their functions in a, in a really powerful way and meaningful way and have an impact is great. So Sasha, you have a vast array of experience. You're, you have experience as a lawyer from earlier in your career, then you went to Jacksonville and then to Cleveland, you worked on the business and on the football side in Cleveland, and then you've worked on the basketball side with Monumental in the NBA. How does all of that experience serve you well as you're moving into this new opportunity? Well, the first thing I've got to stop calling it a court and get back to calling it a field. And <laughs> I had just gotten to the point where I started calling it a field and a stadium and, and started calling it a court and arena. Uh, but uh, I just, but uh, seriously, I think, uh, I think that versatility um, and, and experience is something that, that really has been an honor and, and a privilege and, and that I draw from uh, daily to live on, if you think about um, professional sports franchises as kind of two-sided, you know, with team operations and business side, to be able to have experiences on both sides of, of uh, franchise operations gives you a tremendous amount of appreciation, respect, and perspective uh, for the other side. Um, and to be able to see the system, the league system, and how it impacts the franchise on both sides as well has been tremendous. So. I would say experiences in two different leagues has been, you know, really valuable experience and perspective, but also, you know, on both sides of, of both the business operation as well as the team operation of uh, several sports franchises now. Uh, it gives me a wealth of experiences and different ex perspective to pull from. Um, and ultimately, you know, kind of my job is really to support the others here that are doing great jobs uh, within their respective departments and divisions, but also to set kind of a, a, a core mission that, that and, and, you know, goals and objectives that really align with the values that, that Steve, you know, sets out for us. And, and lastly, Sashi, just what has you most excited about this opportunity? Uh, I think coming back to football um, and my, my, my love growing up, uh, grew up a, a huge Daryl Green fan, um, and, um, and to be able to, to combine my passion for football with an organization that's been so good um, in terms of you know, putting football and, and their people and the community first um, and, and making sure that uh, as we drive towards those three things and excellence and championship caliber operation on the field and off the field, um, to, to be affiliated with that uh, and to be in a collaborative team first environment that's very community focused uh, is an awesome opportunity and really, uh, you know, kind of brings together all the things that are truly important to me personally and professionally. Uh, so it's an uh, opportunity I don't uh, take for granted and I'm still pinching myself a little bit at uh, the opportunity to, to come in here and, and replace, uh, you know, a tr treasure of a man uh, and sports executive uh, and Dick Cass. Uh, and to join Steve Bashotti and, and his vision for where he wants to take the Ravens. Awesome. Well, we're really excited to have you. Thank you so much for the time today. Thanks so much.